Mr. Demondment, now. I now ask the Sergeant at Arms to admit Mr. Firth at the bar of the House. At Arms to admit Mr. Firth at the bar of the House. Mr. Christian Firth, please remain standing until I invite you to be seated. You are attending the bar of the House for being found in contempt for your refusal to answer certain questions and for prevaricating in your answers to other questions before the Standing Committee on Government Operations and Estimates. You are here today by order of this House for the following purposes. First, to receive an admonishment for your refusal to respond to questions posed to you by the committee. Second, to provide responses to the questions referred to in the committee's 17th report. And third, to respond to supplemental questions. The privileges of the House of Commons are enshrined in the Constitution Act 1867 and the Parliament of Canada Act. This includes the right to institute inquiries and to require the attendance of witnesses. Under the standing orders of this House, they are also exercised by its committees within their respective mandates. These privileges, enjoyed by the House collectively and by members individually, are essential in the discharge of our duties. The House has a power and indeed the obligation to reaffirm them when obstruction or interference impedes the House's proceedings and the ability of members to carry out their parliamentary duties. That is precisely what the House has ordered the Speaker, as a guardian of these rights and privileges, to do today. To reprimand you, to reprimand your contempt for refusing to answer questions put to you by the Committee and prevaricating other questions. For all these reasons, on behalf of the House of Commons, I admonish you. In addition, the House orders you to respond to the questions you refuse to answer in committee, in whole or in part, and to respond to any supplementary questions. Monsieur Christian Firth, Mr. Firth, you have been in attending the Bar of the House for being found in contempt for your refusal to answer certain questions and for prevaricating in your answers to other questions before the Standing Committee on Government Operations and Estimates. You are here today by order of the House for the following purposes. One, to receive an admonishment for your refusal to respond to questions posed to you by the committee. Two, to provide responses to the questions referred to in the committee's 17th report and three, to respond to supplementary questions. The privileges of the House of Commons are enshrined in the Constitution Act 1867 and the Parliament of Canada Act. This includes the right to institute inquiries and to require the attendance of witnesses. Under the standing orders of the House, they are also exercised by its committees within their respective mandates. These privileges enjoyed by the House collectively and by members individually are essential in the discharge of our duties. The House has the power and indeed the obligation 
to reaffirm them when obstruction or interference impedes the House's proceedings and the ability of members to carry out their parliamentary duties. That is precisely what the House has ordered the Speaker as the guardian of these rights and privileges to do today to reprimand your contempt for refusing to answer questions put to you by the committee and for prevaricating other questions. For all these reasons, on behalf of the House of Commons, I admonish you. In addition, the House orders you to respond to the questions you refuse to answer in committee, in whole or in part, and to respond to any supplementary questions. Mr. Firth. That you must answer all questions that are posed of you. I would also like to remind you and everyone listening that everything you say as part of these proceedings is protected by parliamentary privilege and cannot be used against you in any other forum. Mr. Firth, je vous... Mr. Firth, I would like to remind you that you must answer all questions that are posed to you. I would also like to remind you and everyone listening that everything you say as part of these proceedings is protected by parliamentary privilege and cannot be used against you in any other forums. The chair is aware that you've been briefed on this process. La présidence sait que le processus... The chair is aware that you have been briefed on this process. You may now be seated. Vous pouvez vous... You may now be seated.